wishes a very warm welcome to the Beer Head this evening. <clears throat> As presiding officer for the National Assembly of Wales, I'm delighted to see so many of you here, especially this time of the evening when, when the pubs are open. That's all I say. Is there free beer later on? Yeah, it's okay, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'm extremely pleased to open this evening's event, which the National Assembly for Wales is jointly hosting with the Hansard Society. And it's the latest in a series of joint events for 2011, which aim to increase engagement levels of political processes in Wales. Now, tonight's debate, Politics versus Young People in Wales, will explore the relationships between young people and politi politics in Wales and the role that the Assembly can play in this. The Assembly already has a strong reputation in the, you know, in the world of education thanks to the commitment shown by our elected members um, who are very keen to meet young people across the country on a weekly basis to hear your views. In fact, I will be in North Wales on Friday morning to meet school council representatives from various schools in the Vale of Chloe constituency. We'll be talking about the importance of school councils and the empowerment and added value of democracy that they can nurture. It will be really interesting to find out what changes they, they have managed to influence in their schools and how they engage with the teaching staff and the school management. In fact, this is one of the areas I discussed with the Children's Commissioner, Keith Towler, when I met him uh, last week. Um, sorry. Um, now, it's the 10th anniversary of the Children's Commission, and those who aren't aware of what that post is all about, I suggest you get on, on, on the web and have a look, because Wales were a leader across the world in having you know, this fantastic Children's Commissioner based here in Wales. Now, at the Assembly, our team of qualified teachers, whose job it is to inform young people about how the Assembly works and how they can get involved, undertook over 600 educational visits last year, reaching over 17,000 pupils. Now, that really is quite some figure. That engagement with school children and young people is so important to our work at the, at the Assembly. You young people are the future uh, of the country, and I honestly think, having seen what I've seen the young people in Wales, the future of Wales is really well assured. The one thing I do try and get them to talk about are things that they wouldn't normally talk about. Um, school councils all talk about the toilets, they talk about school dinners, they talk about all sorts of things. But they don't talk about things like reducing the voting age of 16. And I, and I hope that you'll, you'll take that on board and really consider that, because I think it's something we should be considering. Now, the former debating chamber in the Assembly, some have already seen it, is now the Assembly's Education Centre, and it's complete with electronic voting buttons so the students can debate and vote on topics relevant to the Assembly's work. Students' opinions are then often presented to the relevant committees. For example, when members debated the safety on school buses measure, lots of opinion was voiced, and documented about how they felt about CCTV cameras in school buses. Another hot topic has been the presumed consent for organ donation. Now, school councils and youth forums also be given the opportunity to voice their opinion to the Children and Young People's Committee on several different occasions. And every year, the education team provides a range of opportunities for young people to learn about politics in Wales. For Welsh baccalaureate students, workshops are delivered to teach about different legislatures uh, and particularly for advanced uh, level politics students, we offer a two-day conference every spring. We also use the Assembly's outreach bus so that young people get the chance to meet me or their Assembly members at events across the country. And I'm delighted you've got a very um, lively team this evening. Um, they are, yeah, hopefully they're going to be lively anyway. Um, <laughs> Some will be more lively than others. Perhaps uh, the chair will have a different group. But they really are, um, I think, a fantastic example of how young people coming into democracy can actually change uh, the face of what's happening here in Wales. So before I hand over to Michael Rafferty, who is the director of the Hansard Society's Citizens Education Programme, I would like to say a thank you to our panel in advance for their contributions, and in particular, Alec Jones, who is the chair of the Youth Forum and the Welsh National Federation of, young Farm of the Young Farmers, and Neil Levy, of course, who you all know, um, from BBC Value Company. Um, I wish you all well. I look forward to hearing what you say this evening and ensuring that your discussions will inspire a new generation of young people to get involved in the work of the Assembly to help make Wales a stronger and more effective place to live and obviously to show the way forward to the rest of the world. Because although we tend to hide our 
our light under a bushel, the form of devolution we have here in Wales is actually an exemplar used across the world. People come to see how we are delivering. So have a fantastic evening and I look forward to seeing some of you in the Assembly at the next session. Thank you very much.